Hi, my name is Ash from the Twitch channel Safe Landing, and today's automated blueprint is going to be focusing on setting up an automated chlorine dispensary. Anyway, let's get into it. So the purpose of an automated chlorine dispensary is one to have a use for all of the bleach stone that you find uh, everywhere in the world, two to actually set up reservoirs of chlorine as later on in the game if you don't find a, a chlorine geyser then chlorine becomes an issue. Well chlorine is always an issue at the start of the game it's an issue because it prevents you from expanding and at the end of the game it's an issue because you, you can run out and, and not have enough chlorine available to clean out slime lung for instance. So Setting up little rooms like these are actually quite useful for you. It, it works off a very simple premise. I've got a big storage container here of uh, bleach stone. And an auto sweeper that will pick up the bleach stone at, uh, from this uh, storage bin set at priority 5. And dump them into these storage bins set at priority 6 which are a lot less. Now each storage bin will emit... 850 odd milligrams of chlorine a second right so with these three storage bins together in one cycle you're looking at 1.44 kilos of chlorine being released inside this room right so it's not a huge amount but it so far has been proving uh, of use for the two ore scrubbers i have here and the other two ore scrubbers i have here I have a reservoir that's connected in, in from this room here and that seems to be slowly filling up. So the 1.44 4, 1 kilograms seems to be not too bad. Now I have a little bit of automation here. I have an Atmo sensor which will activate the gas pump when it detects atmospheric pressure above 200 grams. And I also have an Atmo sensor connected to uh, the auto sweeper, which will activate it if it's below 200 grams. Just, uh, just to make sure that these bins always stay full. In this room, I also have a canister emptier, right? And it's set to receive chlorine and hydrogen. And these are related to like expansion projects like these where I have a canister filler and instead of running lots of pipes and having a lot of uh, a bit of a setup to be able to clear the gases I can just set up these uh, canister fillers around and have the dupes manually run it it fills up like 10 kilos of gas which is quite a lot and then the dupes will manually run them over to areas like these and then just dump 10 kilos uh, of in, into the canister emptier and then the gas pump will move it along, which makes expansion really a really easy thing now. Especially like in spaces like these where you've got a lot of gases, all you need to really do now is just set up like, say, a gas pump um, with a canister filler. And let's pop in a door. All right, and uh, we'll drop in some power for... Um, for that and uh, we just need to run a pipe right to there and once that's all built all we have to do is just uh, open this up we might want to open it up a little bit more like that uh, the dupes will run in dig through all of this and as soon as they're done we can just lock this off so they can't come in and this gas pump will just start just dragging all of this stuff in and the canister the canister filler will take all of the gases into 10 kilo lots and the dupes will run in grab them and then start dropping them off in places like these right so it, it's it's very quick to set up and look if, if you're worried about you know how many how much running backwards and forwards you're looking at uh, you know each tile is roughly one kilo so you know it, it won't take that many bottles to completely empty this room out of all of the gases and it shouldn't take too long either anyway that's it it's a it's a pretty short one but these little techniques are really useful to be able to move quickly in in your game and not get bogged down by 
tedious minutia. Anyway, look, if you liked it, hit leave a like. If you want to see more of my videos, hit a subscribe and get notified when I release them. Leave a comment down below just letting me know what type of videos you'd be interested in seeing. I've got a lot that I want to make, but it, letting me know what you'd like to see will help me prioritize them. Or you can just talk to me on my Twitch channel. I'm always up for a chat when I'm streaming. And yeah, that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned some stuff. Have a good one. Bye.